may be some snow on the ground, but there is still plenty of activity and interest that you can bring to your yard to attract our feathered friends. And Karen Bachman Thule with Bachman's is here today with a couple essentials you want to bring them. this time of year. It, it, it just makes you feel good when you see like a beautiful bird out there. That's it? right. Well, we've talked about how to add interest indoors, and so you can add interest outdoors even during the winter months. And a great way to do that is with birds. And there's three essentials that they need right now is shelter, water, and food. And okay. so with shelter, you want to give them um, a cute and protective space. <laughs> Very important that it's adorable. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, a pr uh, protective space to, um, to habitat. Um, and so we have some examples there. But um, one of the most important things that you can provide for our feathered friends is a um, good source of water. Um, because it's cold right now, yeah, it to do freezes. With the yes. And so um, a fresh source of water is incredibly important. And so um, what I've brought here is an example of a de-icer um, and then um, a water wiggler and so that will oscillate the water. A, a, wa oh, a water wiggler. Oh, well, that sounds fun. So that will add is that this thing? <laughs> that is, yes. And so, so this that is will, the wiggler? Yep, that will oscillate the water and um, add some interest to it. Is it, is it um, battery operated? It is battery thing? operated yeah. so you don't have to plug it in but a de-icer you do Neat. have to plug in. Got it. And that will provide um, a clean consistent source of water for the birds. Excellent. Cool. Um, and then food of course is very important and there's a couple different ways that you can provide food um, from a classic um, bird feeder, easy flip top, um, to food trays, or for suet. Suet is really popular um, during the winter because it uh, provides extra fat um, and, and what protein. is suet? Um, it's essentially bird seed, but it's then um, mixed with protein and oh. fat that gives uh, birds a little bit more energy during the winter time. It's okay. like the cliff bar of bird food. <laughs> there there you go. Exactly we right. love the birds, uh, maybe don't love the squirrels as much. That's right. That's one of the um, number one reasons that people don't bird is because the squirrels take the food. So we have a couple options. Um, and sizzle and heat is a great option. It's actually food made with chili pepper, and they don't like that Oh, interesting. Flavor. Oh. Yes. So um, the, the squirrel will still come and sample. It but will sample, but it will not come back most likely. Learn that lesson. <laughs> real That's fast. right. But the birds are fine with it. Yes, yes. And so that comes it. in suet form and seed form. Cool. Um, otherwise, you can try using a baffle, hanging that over um, your bird feeder. <laughs> Look at that squirrel's face. And that, you know, it's harder for the squirrel to get the food. <laughs> um, otherwise, there's spring loaded bird feeders as well, um, so it's harder for them Basically to access the food, yes. Do you change the food winter versus what you'd have in the summer, or is it pretty much the same? For you know, um, I, I love birding, so I tend to switch off. So I do a lot of suet um, in the winter time, and the cardinals um, are coming as well as the blue jays oh, um, right to the door. Um, Boy, into the cardinals the are so beautiful, aren't they? You it's get one of my favorite things to watch the in the white winter. White yes, snow. exactly. Fantastic. Well, yes. I love this, and it's always fun when you get those signs of life outside. That's and when right. It's pretty yes. quiet. Yes, really that's right. Karen, thank you. Thank you.